All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Trading Bitcoin with your host, Tom Vase. Unfortunately, I left my really nice $200 webcam in Mexico, and uh, I will find... I will find another video solution, uh, hopefully by tomorrow. Uh, so the good news is we're going straight to the charts and you guys don't get to see me. All right, I'm uh, looking at the live chat here. I already see people I need to ban permanently. Moderators should be able to beat me to that one. All right, let's do the charts. Sorry, there wasn't a video yesterday. Was just really busy traveling from Mexico. Uh, got stuck at the border for a while because um, I don't have global entry or anything like that. So uh, yeah, that border took about three hours to get through and then dinner with Edge team down in San Diego. All right, weekly chart. Weekly chart continues to look fairly bullish. Today is Wednesday. Um, no, I didn't get arrested and I still have all the ivermectin. Uh, so good. <laughs> yeah, everyone's going to be getting ivermectin off of me now. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to it. <laughs> not, not, not for presents. Um, yeah, no, the world is just a big depressing mess with the whole COVID passports insanity and it ain't going back to normal. If you think it's going back to normal, it's not. The only way it's going back to normal is if people fight back, but no one seems to want to fight back. All right, weekly chart looks fairly strong uh, with every day that passes by, gets us closer to another moving average crossover. And this will be the final one. And then we just need the 20 period day moving average to turn to the upside. The daily chart, the daily chart looked pretty bad in the early hours of this morning, but we have rallied back fairly nicely. Uh, this has been a classic one to four candle correction um, off the MRI top. The way the MRI top came in, I really wasn't even expecting a one to four candle correction, but that is what the indicator calls for. And that's exactly what we got. We got a four candle correction that even crossed the 200 day moving average. I'm sure a lot of people were panicked this morning, but I think this was another decent opportunity to buy the dip. Uh, what concerns me about the situation is of course, the double bottom low. And generally, you don't want to see that. You want to see higher swing highs and you want to see higher swing lows. This daily chart has a perfect um, double bottom and double bottoms usually break to the downside. So, uh, so it's a little bit concerning but I'm going to trust the MRI on this one and the general bullish environment and uh, the bearishness of the political environment. And you now people are asking, is it difficult to get ivermectin in Mexico? No, you, you don't need a prescription. You just need to walk into a pharmacy and, you know, buy all the ivermectin they have or ask them to order more. Uh, it's uh, really no different than buying Tylenol or Advil. Uh, you can just walk in and buy it. It costs about, I want to say a dollar a pill. Yeah, it costs about one US dollar per pill. Um, I think I paid 200 bucks for like 200 pills. I'm already down to like 180 because people keep asking me for it.
but I also already had COVID. So like, but ivermectin, I haven't even started taking my ivermectin, but I think I'll start like today or something. Because I do have to do more travel and I don't want to get a positive COVID test. So I'll, I'll start taking my ivermectin. Uh, I got to check if I should take it once a day or once every two days or three days. Probably take it once every couple of days. So I'm still bullish here. And I think the pullback is over and we should be rallying to the upside. So I am generally bullish here. Just need a, a green star candle. I'm looking, I'm interested in the four hour chart because the four hour chart will probably show me a little bit of a double top, sorry, double bottom. But if you look closely, the four hour chart is actually trending slightly upwards. The oscillators continue to trend downwards. So that's a little bit of a divergence that I'm not happy about. But the four hour chart does not yet look bullish. Sorry, does not yet look bearish. Uh, we bounced perfectly off the MRI support line. So the MRI traders uh, should take note. And we just need to get over these two moving averages. I like the last four hour candle. Seems very bullish. Same thing on the one hour chart. It uh, doesn't really feel like a double bottom. You can see how this trend line is looking very good on the one hour chart as well. Um, so yeah, so I'm fairly bullish. Bitcoin dominance hits an MRI buy. And let's see if this can give us a little bit of mustard for Bitcoin to the upside. I'm slightly bullish on gold, but I wouldn't enter the trade. Um, I would wait for this trend line to break before acting on any gold bullish momentum. Oil looks like a disaster. I am now fully bearish on oil on this daily chart. We've broken this double bottom. And uh, my target now is closer to the $60 range. s p reversed like clockwork on the MRI cell. Uh, this is why I advise people to be very, very careful with the MRI cell. It started going down yesterday in the MRI warning candle, which rebounded late afternoon, but sorry, two days ago. And then yesterday, uh, I did not stream yesterday, but clearly the MRI uh, did its job. Is the move over? Well, normally a one to four candle correction, then back up. And I would treat this as one of the four candles. So it's possible that the downside is over or we can go a little bit lower over the next few days. Oh, actually, I'm in front of a TV right now, and they're showing the Hillsborough school meeting. And I think that's the one in San Diego. And I was hanging out with people that were there. Uh, the room looks the same. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, let me get you guys this link. Yeah, get back to the charts in a minute. I heard all about this. And yeah, I heard all about this. Is this Hillsboro? Let me see. Maybe not. But um, everyone should watch this. 
San Diego more uh this is basically the parents just objecting to the mask mandates, which are horrendous. So it's so hilarious. Yeah, the, the, so I, I was hanging out with some people that were there all day for these hearings. And of course, the socialists won't listen. They just want to mask everybody up because it has nothing to do with your health. Absolutely nothing. It just has to do with control. Anyway, but check that out. SMP weekly scale. Uh, weekly scale looks fairly bullish, which is why I'm not expecting the daily SP to drop for very long. Yes. And I believe that is it for the charts. Guys, come out tonight. I am in Miami uh, to speak at SLS Hotel later tonight for an event called Epic Talks. I will be there. You can find the link in my on my website, uh, tonebase.com slash calendar. It's right there. I will be in Miami. I will be in St. Louis actually on 24th and 25th. I need to add the event uh, details right here. Well, just the 24th uh, is a, a Bitcoin uh, center is going to open. And then I will be in Texas. And after that, I'm not sure yet. Probably I'll be back in Miami. Um, I really hope like the South secedes because then I may not have to defect the country. Uh, the bit black boom. This should go on sale. Uh, Dubai financial summit in Dubai uh, should go on sale today, tomorrow. Well, just keep an eye on it. It only has 50 seats. So I expect it to sell out ridiculously quickly. Uh, the financial summit still has a few seats. So come join us uh, in Dubai on November 6th, 12th for the financial summit if you're a trader or an investor. And I Confiscatable will be in Vegas in uh, March. The Bitcoin Standard Conference was excellent, but I'm not going, well, it's already over. So I'll help Ugly next year. Blockchain Live in October. I am a speaker, but I'm not going to make it to Russia in person, guys. At least I don't think I am. So my speaking slot should have one of those um, Skype things on it. Okay, and it does. All right. It's not going to be Skype. It's going to be Zoom, but uh, I, I do not plan to be there in person. So just keep that in mind. Hey, Sand Snake, thank you for your donation, man. Uh, you're asking me to take a look at Kana. The dollar is rising. The dollar looks bullish. You got a green star candle. You broke above the prior swing high. So I am bullish the dollar. Kana. Oh, wow, look at that perfect top on Canaan. Perfect top. You've now gone further than a one to four candle correction. So therefore, I would wait for an MRI buy uh, or a move off the support line. I'm actually going to tell my friends to keep an eye on Canaan. MRI buy next week. Yeah, I would wait till it gets to about the seven dollar range. Oh yeah, hyperwave. There might be a hyperwave. Um, I should probably open the Bitcoin hyperwave. Hmm. 
because it's possible we are working on a new hyperwave. So this was the old hyperwave. You know, we can also look at it that all of that was phase two, but no, that was phase yeah. four. So we can't use that yeah. as phase two. So, so it's interesting. There's two ways to look at it. Yeah, we didn't make it to the, it would have been nice to make it back to this line. I, I don't see it guys. I don't see a proper hyperwave setup. I don't see a proper hyperwave setup. If this is phase two, that could be crazy. No, see, that's too steep to be phase two. And this is not steep enough to be phase two. I mean, it's possible that this is this whole thing is now phase two, but, but that ignores the fact that a hyperwave has already completed. I would hold off on the hyperwave views of Bitcoin right now. And then you need to talk to some other hyperwave experts. I'll get back to you on this. Hey guys, I need to get going. Check GBTC premium, sure. I don't know what happened to it. Where is it? Where is my GBTC chart? I really don't know what happened to it. Thank you. Seems to have disappeared. Yeah, it's still pretty negative at 14%, wow, that's very negative. Oh, that is what it is. All right, guys, I'll try to do a private Q&A tomorrow. Um, Uh, I'll try to do a private Q&A tomorrow along with the stream. Uh, I'll try to buy a new webcam because I left my webcam in Mexico. So thank you very much for watching and see you 